Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In this tutorial we'll explore Python numeric data types. In Python there are three distinct numeric types. Integers, floating point numbers and complex numbers. The numbers are created by numeric literals or as the result of built-in functions and operators. Python integer numeric type represents an integer which is a whole number, it can be positive or negative, and it can be of unlimited length. The int constructor can be used to create an integer number in Python. Let's take a look at a few examples. We can create an integer by simply assigning a number to a variable. We can do the same thing with a negative number. Also, we can use the int constructor. A good property of the int constructor is that it can convert a number from a string format to an integer. Now let's take a look at the types of these variables. As you can see, all four variables are integers. Now that we know that these variables are of type integer, let's go ahead and print them out. And we get integers 1, minus 2, 5, and 6. Python floating point number numeric type represents a number that contains one or more decimals, and it can be positive or negative, including positive and negative infinity. The float constructor can be used to create a floating point number in Python. Let's take a look at a few examples. Similar to integers, we can simply assign a number with decimal points to a variable. We can do the same thing for a negative number. The float constructor has a property to convert a float from string format to a floating point number. And we can also use the float constructor to create a positive or negative infinity floating point number. Now let's take a look at the types of these variables. As you can see, all variables are floating point numbers. Now that we know that these elements are of type float, let's go ahead and print them out.
and we get floats 1.0, minus 1.1, 5.5, and negative infinity. Python complex number numeric type represents a complex number that contains one real and one imaginary parts, and it is constructed from two real numbers. The complex constructor can be used to create a complex number in Python. Let's take a look at a few examples. We can simply create complex numbers by defining the real and imaginary parts and assigning them to a variable. We can also use the complex constructor to create a complex number. The complex constructor has a property that allows us to convert numbers in the string format to complex numbers. In case of passing a number in a string format into the complex constructor, only one element can be passed, which will be the real part of the complex number. The imaginary part of the complex number in this case will be zero. Now let's take a look at the types of these variables. As you can see, these variables are complex numbers. Now that we know that these variables are of type complex, let's go ahead and print them out. And we get complex numbers 1 plus 3j, minus 2 plus 5j, 3 minus 7j, 1 plus 0j. Python numeric types support the following operations. The first operation is summation of x and y, and you can do it with integers, floats, and complex numbers. The second operation is the difference of x and y, and it also works for integers, floats, and complex numbers. You can take a product of x and y, and it also works for integers, floats, and complex numbers. You can do a quotient or division of x and y, it also works for integers, floats, and complex numbers. You can find the floored quotient of x and y, and this operation only works for integers and floats, and it does not work for complex numbers. Same thing with the remainder of x and y. You can do it for integers and floats, but not the complex numbers. You can find the uh, negated or negative value of x. It works for integers, floats, and complex numbers. You can also keep the x unchanged and it will work for integers, floats, and complex values. You can find the absolute value of magnitude of x and it will work for integers, floats, and complex numbers. You can convert x to integer and it works for integers and floats, as well as you can convert numbers that are in the string format. The same is true for x converted to floating point, it works for integers, floats, and numbers in string format. You can find a complex number with the real part and imaginary part, 
and it will work for integers, floats, as well as complex numbers. Now, when it comes to finding the conjugate of the complex number, it only works for complex numbers because you need the complex number in the beginning in order to perform this operation. You can find the pair values of the floor quotient of x and y and the remainder of x and y, and it only works for integers and floats because the underlying operations also only work for integers and floats. You can take x to the power of y, and it works for integers, floats, and complex numbers. And you can take x to the power of y by simply using two stars instead of the power function, and it also works for integers, floats, and complex numbers. In this tutorial, we explored three Python numeric data types, which are integer, floating point number, and complex number, as well as the numeric operations that can be performed in Python. Feel free to leave comments below if you have any questions. Please like and share the video, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for more of my Python programming tutorials.